Can a broken heart affect a person's English? In Kosi's case, I guess it can. Hi guys, my name is Nkiru and you're welcome to Rumor Has It. Some time ago, Kosi came on Twitter and told the whole world that she was heartbroken. Well, in the process, she made some major grammatical blunders. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I just mean she blagged Not once, not twice, but plenty times. It just seems like her heartbreak was affecting her English seriously. And she blamed it on the tears that were rolling down her screen. And she asked for plenty love because she's quite, she was quite down. Kosi, I know it's just a publicity stunt and you're just looking for attention as usual. But the thing is, Kosi seems to be, you know, moving strong because recently she just posted a picture of her on a street pole. Well, more like her and her breast because like her breast seems to be a different body on its own. On a very, very sexy street, um, street pole pole. And Kosi has moved on and claims he will miss all the, you know, and the poor. I'm sorry, Kosi. If it's the face alone, he won't miss it. Probably the breast, yes. But maybe down there, not really, because you are aging seriously. Okay, if you, although you still tell the world that you're 29, well, you're kind of like 100 and still moving on strong. But I'm happy for you that you've moved on. And I hope you find the next guy who's ready to take off. Nollywood actor, or attempting Nollywood actor, if I may say, Benson Okonkwo, who came out and said some time ago that he was getting married to a certain Imelda. Well, he came online and posted some pictures of her grabbing her boobs, maybe to convince us that he's really straight and getting married. Apparently, this chick has now come to cry that we should please beg him to stop posting stuff like that and saying she's getting married because it's affecting her relationship. Besides, Benson is gay. Well, we can see that from the movie he acted some time ago, Pregnant Hawkers, where he was being dry humped by another man naked. If you haven't seen it, look for it. It's quite disturbing. I don't even think you want to see it because I almost puked when I saw it. It actually puked, but, you know, I just had to move on. Well, Benson, if you're looking for a safe place to hide your face, you can now move to Kenya because apparently the sales of Pampers has increased due to the high level of male prostitution. Well, did I get it right? Male prostitution, yeah? <laughs> Diapers, yeah? Diapers. Okay, so Benson... Kenya awaits you, okay? Davido Instagrammed a picture of himself and his girlfriend, well, with some other random men at the back, on like some time ago. And now the issue is, people are saying that the girlfriend is not fine, she's not hot, I mean, for Davido, she has to have a hotter girlfriend, I mean, look at Whiskey's girlfriend, blah, 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 and all that. Well, I say it's a step up from the usual pictures of naked Davido and some random girls are always going online. Seriously, David and people. I think Davido's girlfriend's okay. I don't know what else he wants from a human being. She's pretty enough. Does she have to be some Halle Berry? Frankly speaking, Davido is not Brad Pitt, so he doesn't have to have an Angela Jolie by, on his arm. So now the question for today is who is hotter? Davido's girlfriend or Whiskey's girlfriend? I'm sure my love you will say Whiskey's girlfriend because she's fair and Davido's girlfriend is dark. I'm not saying she, dark people are not fine or fair people are finer than dark people or anything. I'm just asking you a simple question. So let us know what you think, Davido or Whiskey. I'm sure we all heard of the drama on Instagram some time ago concerning Whiskey and a fan where Whiskey said he had an hangover and a fan corrected him and said that is why what he gets for dropping out of school well whiskey got upset apparently who wouldn't and um replied and said broke people always think they have an opinion now everybody went ballistic i mean why should whiskey say all that it's a fan and fans got him to where he is today but personally i think the person was being pretty rude why not end at correcting sorry end with correcting whiskey and just that would be all why do you have to rub in the fact that he dropped out of school and all that not necessary totally not cool well the drama didn't end there 
Whiskey went out to do his visa and then his posh got stoned. That's not cool, seriously. I mean, if you if people were angry, why not stone whiskey? I mean, it's a posh. Save the car. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I don't like whiskey. I'm just saying you put a posh in whiskey, I take the posh. Thank you very much. Well, anyways, I'm sure Whiskey's car is insured and all that, and probably not a lot of damage was done. So I'm really certain Whiskey will be fine with his, you know, battered car or slightly battered car. Moving on, Mahida, if you don't know her, well, she was some chick who, I don't know, was famous for some reason. I don't really know why she was famous. Mm. Well, apparently she abandoned her worldly ways and became born again. So they said. But now the thing is, she's posting pictures on Instagram with, well, quite, I wouldn't say sexy, more like crunchy, awkward, dirty, irrelevant not necessary, you know, pictures of her and telling the whole world that there's power between her legs. I mean, we all know we're women. We all know there's power between the legs, but why tell the whole world? Like, isn't that what the world already knows? Mahida, if this is an attempt to be popular once more, I'm pretty certain that you will be taking a very, very chilling back seat somewhere in the crowd where nobody will notice you at all. Anyway, Mahida, if you're married, I really don't really give a shit about you, but really, you should just be quiet. Nobody cares. Sorry. <clears throat> ah, sorry, you're no big for those I'm an Igbo cuckoo again. Oh, oh, cuckoo. Oh, cuckoo. Oh, no, cuckoo. Whatever that means. I'm evil, but I don't know what that you means. You have mop hair. Oh, yeah, talking about my mop hair. Well, Stella, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if. My hair came out looking like a mop. It wasn't intentional. I need to talk to my stylist about that, man. Seriously, my hair can't be looking like a mop, people. Your stylist, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, seriously, seriously, about the hair, I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't suck that bad. Plus, I am really sorry for that outfit last, during the last episode. Crappy, crappy, right? Not cool, not cool. I seriously, I, I, I'm going to talk to my boss, man. He should give me shopping allowance. Tell help, tell him to give me shopping allowance. Or maybe he should change my stylist. Then they suck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Bella. Thank you, Stella. Even, oh, sorry, the hand. Stella, I won't hit you anymore, I promise. Thank you all for the criticism. I got it. I'm going to learn, and I promise you, with time, it'll get better. I hope it doesn't suck so much today. And we'll be back next episode on Rumor Has It Plenty, Jason. Or maybe if I'm still. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, Rumor Has It isn't necessarily a daily thing. I mean, daily news. It's a roundup, weekly roundup. So if you didn't get it before, get it now, okay? And stop with all the hate. I'm a person, too. I have feelings, man. What do you think my mom will say when she sees all that crap you guys said? Oh, no, go. <laughs> it was nice hanging with you guys on today's episode of Rumor Has It. I will see you next episode. Goodbye. Love you. <laughs> was it good? <laughs>